If the midterms are dividing American families, they're an all-out war for these families. Dave and Tim Gosar are the brothers of Arizona Congressman Paul Gosar. Earlier this year, they cut an attack ad for their brother's opponent. Paul Gosar is my brother. My brother. And I endorse Dr. Brill. Wholeheartedly endorse Dr. David Brill for Congress. Curtis Ingram is the brother of Laura Ingram, the easily parodied Fox News host. Good evening, I'm Laura Ingram. We brought them together to find out what it's like when politics actually tears your family apart. A lot of people have, you know, political conflicts within their families. There's this cliche of the drunk uncle who spouts off at Thanksgiving dinner. But for you guys, that relative doesn't go away. They're out there in the world making choices that, in your view, make the world a worse place. What is that like? We're not having Thanksgiving dinner together. We're not having Christmas dinner together. Because this is real. Um, his hurt uh, towards people that need help is real. Are, are, you, are you supposed to stand by your family no matter what they do? You know, hey, Paul, let's agree to disagree about taking babies from their parents at the borders. You know, pass the turkey. Do you guys feel like your siblings are involved in racial demagoguery? What do you call it when all day long on your Twitter feed and your Facebook page, all you're doing is hyping this ridiculous caravan thing? What do you call when you're affiliating yourself with white nationalists? Um, someone asked me, is that really your sister? Is she just playing a media personality? And I think it is who she has become. Massive demographic changes have been foisted upon the American people. And they're changes that none of us ever voted for and most of us don't like. She said that letting immigrants in might change or dilute our national experience, our American way of life. And I thought, Hip hypocrite, you have three adopted children, one from Guatemala, two from Russia. How can you make a statement like that and sit there and know that you have kids that are themselves from other countries? Yeah, your sister was just parodied on Saturday Night Live as basically a racist, lying demagogue. Like, how did you feel about that? We were raised in um, a family that was very abusive, alcoholic father, a Nazi sympathizer. I remember finding the copy of Mein Kampf on the bookshelf. And I found a Nazi armband, a Nazi helmet in the cellar. There was a Confederate flag. That's the uh, familial soil. In a statement to Vice News, Laura Ingram said, the family hasn't seen Curtis in years and is extremely worried about him. They find it very sad to see him exploited by media outlets for their own political ends. What would it take for you to reconcile with your sister? It would require a discussion. But my sister, it's closed down. I'm not saying it's not a possibility, but what I see right now, I don't see it happening. This isn't uh, an, oh, I'm sorry for you know, doing all those horribly destructive things. It's going to take more than just words to get back in. You show me some actions. Paul Gosar is very likely to win re-election. His brothers accept that they can't change his mind or the minds of many of his constituents. But they want to get people to try to change the minds of their drunk uncles. How much do you feel like, like it's a five alarm fire and like your job is to warn people to stop America from going down that road? You've got Nazis marching in the street in Charlottesville. Just out in the open, you've got a slaughter in a synagogue. It's about the stoking of this racial divide that Trump is fully a part of, and so is Laura, and so is Paul. <laughs>